thought for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the book of Psalm 107. And when I got to verses 4 and 5 of this psalm, the people of God were compared to pilgrims passing through a foreign land. And today I was going through this psalm in those verses. It reminded me of a book written by John Bunyan. John Bunyan was a Christian author and writer. He was born in 1628, died in 1688. And on February 18th, 1678, his book Pilgrim's Progress was first published. John Bunyan suffered much in his life. He was in prison for about 10 years for his faith. He had a child that was blind, um, went through a lot in his own personal life. And when he wrote this book, and I, I've read it numerous times, and there are some Christians I know that encourage their followers or Christian leaders uh, who say they should, everyone should read this book, Pilgrim's Progress, at least once a year. It's one of the most famous books ever written. And it's about a young man by the name of Christian, and he is on his way to heaven called Celestial City. And through the book, you see all the trials and tribulations he had to go through. And it's a reminder for us also, the Bible tells us that we too are just pilgrims passing through. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 11 tells us that we as Christians, as followers of Christ, we have to abstain from this world and lusts of this world as pilgrim, pilgrims or sojourners passing through. The Apostle Paul reminds us that in Philippians chapter 3, verse 20, that our citizenship is in heaven. Although we might be citizens of a land here in America, like I'm a citizen of America, others who see this video might be from around the world and you're a citizen of a certain country. But if you're a Christian, your true citizenship is in heaven. Hebrews chapter 11 is called the Hall of Faith. And you look at all those men and women of God and many times they consider themselves just pilgrims passing through a foreign land. Genesis chapter 12 verse 1, God called Abram out of a country that he was comfortable in to go to a country he didn't know. And it's like us as Christians, we're called out of this world, this world that we were comfortable in for so long and to live for Christ now as pilgrims and sojourners. Why? Because even Christ, our Lord and Savior, our leader, our, our Lord, in, in John chapter 18, verse 36, when he stood before Pontius Pilate, ready to be crucified, he said, my kingdom is not of this world. The kingdom of God, we're told in Romans chapter 14, verse 17, is not of food and drink, but of righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Too often I've been guilty of this. As Christians, we... We want to be too comfortable with the things of this world. Waking up in the morning and worried about what's going on with the economy and what politicians are up to. King David, a man after God's own heart, as 1 Samuel chapter 13, verse 14 tells us, in Psalm chapter 5, verse 3, he penned this under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. He said, early in the morning I will seek the Lord. Christ, Christ himself, while he walked this earth, as God in the flesh gave us the example in Mark chapter 1 verse 35 when he got up early in the morning he didn't wake up and worry about what Pilate and, 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 and King Herod were up to or how the economy was doing in Rome he got up early in the morning and he communicated with his father he got into the presence of God my friends as Christians we need to be reminded that we are pilgrims in progress on our way to a country a city not here on earth hebrews chapter 13 verse 14 we're reminded that christians are not to be looking to city that they can see with their physical eye but a city that is to come here on earth we're told in acts chapter 14 verse 22 with many trials and tribulations we must enter the kingdom of god my friends don't stake your claim to the things of the world here don't make your citizenship too much here on earth Remember, we're just passing through. And until then, let us occupy for the Lord. Be busy about God's service. John Bunyan, although he suffered much, the author of the book Pilgrim's Progress, he had his mind and heart set on the Lord, sitting in a cell for 10 years. And prison back then was prison. Not like today where you get three hots and a cot and, and you have cable TV and a library. He was in a real dungeon. But he set his mind on things above focusing on the Lord and may we too 
as pilgrims in this world, find our progression heading to that city, living for Christ this day in a world that is so basically crazy. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today. Lord, remind us as your word tells us in 1 John chapter 5, verse 19, that this whole world is under the sway of the devil. May we not get too comfortable with what's going on in this world, but focus on the world to come. Live heavenly minded while we're here on earth for Christ. Fill us with your Holy Spirit and give us a desire for your word to get in communication and prayer with you, Lord, this day. In Jesus' name. God bless you all today, my friends. Stay close to the Lord.